What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Miss Shalitha Maxine and I do hope you stay a while. As you can see from the title, today I will be bringing you my skincare routine. This is long overdue and the reason why I say it is because I've been getting a lot of requests on my Snapchat. So, okay, so let me just start from the beginning. So I posted a video of me just laying in the bed with Bay, and um, I was all natural. I had no makeup, no lashes, no nothing. And I got so many messages on, girl, you need to do a skincare routine. What do you use on your skin? What are you washing with? I got so many messages. You know what? Let me, um, let me add this video. So yeah, so I think it was like a Sunday night. I was just chilling. I was laying in bed. Hair wrapped up, no makeup on, all that good stuff. So I am here and I'm bringing you guys the video that you so requested. And I'm telling you, my skincare routine is super duper affordable. Super duper easy. One thing I hate, I don't want to say hate because that's such a strong word. But one thing I dislike about a lot of um, makeup influencers or makeup artists, they use so many products and they're all like high end, super expensive products. And to be honest, I personally don't see much of a difference with their skin, you know, but to each his own. Me, however, I have super sensitive skin. I have normal to dry skin. So if you have oily skin, I'm not sure if this works for you, but you could definitely give it a try. It's worth a shot because it's been working for me for so long. So this is my go-to skincare routine. I literally use, well, four products, including water. I use the Garnier Skin Active y'all know I don't know how to pronounce this word right <clears throat> it's cleansing water I don't I do not know how to, I feel so stupid I should ask Siri as you can see I'm running out because I use it all the time but you can find this at your Walgreens all the all the products that I'm using you can literally find at a CVS or Walgreens or any type of drugstore that's in your area I'm sure of it um, I'm also using a Cetaphil daily facial cleanser and this is for normal to oily skin um, I couldn't find anything that was normal to dry that was on sale. When I tell y'all I bought this because it was on sale and I heard so many good things about Cetaphil, I said, let me give it a try. Even though I don't have super oily skin, I said, let me just give it a try and it's been working wonders. So you know what? Now that I come to think about it, if you do have oily skin, this could work for you. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I didn't even pay attention to that. This is super gentle. I keep using the word super deep. This is so gentle on your face. You can literally use this every single day. And it would not dry you out. Like, I've tried Neutrogena. I've tried Clarisel. I've tried so many different facial products that dried my skin out so bad. And, yeah, that's not what we're about to do. Especially if you're a melanin girl like myself. Um, that's not what we want to do. And for the third product, I use Eucerin Advanced Repair. This was given to me by child's mother, and it's so crazy because I was actually going to buy me some. But she said, oh no, I just bought a new one. It was on sale at BJ's. So she gave me this. Shout out to you. Thank you, mom. I love you. Well, this is what I'm using. It's like halfway empty. Um, I, I don't know how much this costs. I'm thinking somewhere between $7 to $10. I could be, I could be lying, but... uh. It's Eucerin. Eucerin is very good for the skin. Very good for the skin. And then I'm also using some cotton rounds. Um, you can pick this up anywhere at any beauty supply store, any just regular drugstore. Um, and of course, water, H2O. So that will be my final product. So my face is beat. I it probably look a little. I'm looking crazy. It's fine. Anyway, um, I did my makeup. I did take off my lashes already, so I'm gonna get unready with you guys. Um, in terms of the face. So first, I'm trying to think, should I bring this in the bathroom? I'm thinking about bringing this in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm bringing the bathroom. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So let's start with the, I'm just going to give a guess and say this is called micellar, micellar cleansing water, all in one. Hell, I don't know. Um, I'm going to take my cotton rounds. And now what I usually do is I take four of them and, um... When I wet it, because it'll seep right through, I wet them all as a stack. So with any, with whatever goes through will always hit like the last one. So let me just put a little bit more. Just like that. And then I utilize 
front and back of them off. Wait, first of all, before I even start, can I take off these bottom lashes? Who I thought I was? Put them right on off. All right, girl. And I start with one side. And it does not leave your face dry, and that's what I like. Now, as y'all saw, one, look at all that makeup. So, I'm going to use a little bit of the back, just for my chin, and under, and my mustache. Throw this right on the garbage. I'm going to take the other one, since it's wet, as well. Okay, throw that away. This is the last one. Now, the more I get to the end of it, the drier it becomes, which is good because that's what we want. We want a little bit, but not as much. We don't want it heavily soaked when we're nearing the end of the clean off. Try to get in those eyes because I do use bottom liner on my waterline. What's just eyeliner on my waterline? I'm doing the most right now. Alrighty. Now I'm taking the final cotton round. And I'm just wiping out going on my nose. If you girls don't know, you do get makeup in your nose, as you can see. So let's try to get all of that out as much as possible. Now, if you think your makeup is all off, it's not. You still have a lot underneath the skin surface. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rag, which I forgot in the room. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my face rag. And girls, if y'all don't know, please always use two rags. I'm just going to wet it with some wet it with some warm water, I'm gonna rinse it out. But I still want it to be a little bit damp. I don't want it to be super dry. And I'm going to scrub my face. Scrub it. Now that my face is damp, not wet, but damp, I'm going to take my Cetaphil and I'm going to do just one good pump and rub it in my hands. Now, like I said, it smells so good, but like I said, this stuff is so good that you can use it. It's, it's gentle enough for you to use on a daily basis, and that's exactly what I do. I only use it once a day. I don't do it morning and night because I don't want to overexert my skin. So, first of all, I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup maybe once or twice a week. So, I don't need to do this twice a day. If I did, then I would encourage you doing it twice a day, one in the morning, one at night. But if you're like me, you don't need it that much. I do it once a night, and in the morning, I just use a rag just to wash my face before I get ready for work. Now that that's seemingly dry, I'm going to take my rag again. Now, it says to rinse, but I oh, I never really trust just rinsing. So, I like to wet my rag again. The same facial rag. This time, it's a little bit more water. Like, literally. Like, I could squeeze it out. And now I'm going to wipe the product off my face completely. Now I'm gonna do it one more time. And when you rinse your rag, you'll see all of the makeup that goes on your skin. And that's what I love to see. That's what I look for. Because I know that my face is clean. Like I said, I'm gonna go on my nose. Get that makeup out of the nose. Now I'm done with that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just air dry it a little bit. What I do is I take this time to dry off my body because I usually do this at like I said at night so I dry off my body and everything and I put on my undergarments then I take my Eucerin this is non-scented it says um, natural moisturizing factors and enriched so this repairs very dry itchy rough flaky skin strengthens the skin barrier and moisturizes for 48 hours hours and it does now as you can see like I'm having little oily spots but that's good that just means that my face is moisturized and it's not being dried out 
So I'm just going to take one pump because that's all you need. Rub it in. I only use Eucerin for my face. You don't want to use too many lotions that's fragrancing because that's how you break out. Rub it in. Nice and moisturized. Now I'm going to take a clean, dry rag. This is a different rag for my face rag. I'm just going to pat dry. Pat it dry, pat it dry. And we're done. Ready for bed. Time to go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick skin routine. Um, like I said, you only need to use four affordable products. That is the Cetaphil, the Garnier uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. Y'all know I can't pronounce this word for nothing. And Eucerin and H2O. That's all you need. Cotton rounds will do just fine. And of course, your facial rag. Um, yeah, and that's it. This is literally all I use. Now, I don't have the most perfect skin. I never claim to have the most perfect skin. But for somebody who wears makeup, and I wear a ton of makeup on my face, you know, I think I'm doing all right. So, if you like uh, this process and you like my results, then I definitely encourage you to go out, buy your ingredients for your new skincare routine. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye.